Hi, this is Trey Pass. They released a trailer yesterday for a Quiet Place 2, a final trailer. It's They moved it up, uh, you know, it got delayed because of the pandemic thing, but it's coming out on May 28th, you know, the Memorial Day weekend, which is great. Okay, and it's the final trailer, about a minute and 50 seconds, so let's get my reaction to this and I'll be right back. Put my headphones in. Here we go, right? Now, go. Final trailer. The oranges. Oh man, that's the ship. What the happened? A bomb, I think. Uh oh. Whoa. Is, baby may 20th i'll be there oh man oh man that looked great that looked fantastic i can't wait for quiet place too that's gonna be great that'll be the first movie i want to see in theaters okay you know i wanted to see godzilla versus uh kong in theaters but you know there's two right but now that everything is opening up now i'm definitely gonna make sure and that's memorial day weekend that's perfect timing to go there i'll go i'll definitely go there on a saturday and uh see that quiet place i love quiet the first one and this is good because I'm, I'm glad that way they got, I think John Kaczynski directed this, but but I'm glad that they do it in flashbacks so that way you get to see, he can have him in the movie still, you know, even though it's flashbacks and then you got the, the young son. And I and I like that um, they showed that the part when he was going to get the oranges or whatever he was and then you saw that rocket ship, the rocket ship that his son picked up, unfortunately, in the other movie. And, and I like that they, uh, I liked about the first trailer where you see her in the car with her two boys, you know, the two boys, you know, the, the older boy and then the young son that died in the first movie, and you see him, see him, and I'm glad that they, um, you know, are showing that so you can see that, that you know, she was, you know, that she, of course, she loved her son, and we see that in the first movie too when he died, she went to his room and stuff, and she sat there and cried and stuff, but because I always, I still thought that was kind of stupid that they, uh, nobody held his hand that kid nobody was watching him because he's a little kid you know little kids don't know you know it's a disaster but he doesn't know you tell him you know the world is gone to crap he doesn't know he just you know he wants a toy he's he's a kid and somebody should have had him by the hand okay and i think i don't know if the i gotta go back and watch the first movie again but because i don't know if the uh the guilt that the you know the older daughter feels you know the old you know you know she feels is because she was supposed to be that person that was supposed to watch him Okay, I think if I want remember that, that's why she had that guilt and she felt that her father didn't, you know, was blaming her even though he didn't. And I love that, I love that speech at the, you know, just before he died where he told her that he was proud and that he loved them. <laughs> and that was just, that's why that movie is so great. You know, this it's just about a, a movie with just a couple of characters, but you feel the love that they have for each other and, you know, and having that kid, you know, having their son die and stuff and, the guilt that they felt and the blame they felt for each, you know, the blame that they, you know, they, they tucked that on, internalized that and thought, you know, that, you know, the, you know, the, especially the older daughter, she thought her father, you know, kind of resented her because of that, because the older kid died and stuff. And it was her responsibility. I think that's what she felt, even though he told her and she got to know that before he died, they know he didn't blame her, that he loved her. And I just, I don't know, that got to me. 
And so that's why I'm kind of glad that they are revisiting. You, you do get to see the older, the younger son who died again in this movie. And then you get to see the father again, too. I think that's a nice touch to do that. So I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, let me know what you think of A Quiet Place 2, this final trailer. What do you think of it? Feel free to leave comments down below. I have links. I'll leave a link to that trailer in the description box so you can watch it for yourself. I also have links to my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram. I also have a link to my other channel, Paul's Views and Opinions. If you check that out as well. I also have a link to my Patreon channel. It's only five dollars a month. Please check it out. Is right there. Lots of content on there. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care.